Hey, orange one here. So, uh, we are not now right by this lab, and I was trying to think, like, what I wanted to do. I do want to do the lab, or the, uh, temple, um, but I might actually just do that off camera, because it's not honestly that interesting, I think, and I've done it so many times before. Um, let me know if you do want to see that on camera. I'm, I, I don't know. I'll probably have recorded it by then, because I do have quite a bit of a uh, backlog with this, because I just can't stop myself. I seriously can't stop myself from playing this right now. Oh man, it's just been calling to me. Um, basically, in between episodes, I've just been collecting Kevlar uh, for getting a nice helmet for our friend here. Um, in addition to that, I've also gone and given him a pot helmet. I know it's kind of weird, but it's the like pretty much the only helmet that he can he can have. There's a lot of corrosive zombies there. I would like to not have a bunch of corrosive zombies um, hit my friend, but I would kind of like to show off him in combat. So I do want to get him out here. I think the last episode we did, but I think he's a little bit more mutated now. Are you coming or what's, what's the deal here? I mean, you should be. Um, Coming with me, right? Um, what if I tell you to prepare for danger? No, you're you're just gonna stand there. Okay. Uh, okay. I think he's coming towards me. Good. I'll just run away from the zombie while you get ready. Just you know. There we go. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, there we go. He's he's out. Nice. Now I'll just I'll just watch him do his thing. And there are two of them right now. But yeah, he's he's very powerful. He doesn't have that much combat experience right now, and he's already an extremely powerful uh, melee character. He actually, honestly, it's and that was the axe there, but he hits super hard with his horns and like his hooves and everything it's it's pretty it's pretty nice um yeah maybe we won't fight the corrosives but i do think we're gonna go into that lab so it might be worthwhile doing there's something weird going on with him right now with like going in and out of the vehicles is it that he's so big that he just doesn't like moving in and out of the vehicles or something i don't know He hasn't got the, um, actually I'll, I'll show you just really quick. He hasn't got the mutation, oh wow his head's extremely encumbered. Wow. It's a good thing he's not, uh, not aiming with anything. Um, actually it doesn't look like that affects things. So I was, sorry, I was saying he doesn't have tank, but he has, um, I think it's this one solidly built which does upgrade to tank so we don't have the best of the best for his health um hit points but it's pretty much there it's like i think another 10 percent more health um if it went up by more oh also bobcats give you pelts i i discovered that while i was trying to make earth sign mutagen so uh i might just um go take out a little bobcat Come on. There we go. I just didn't want to shoot my gun. Honestly. I didn't, there was the risk of it getting trampled. Um, hold on. That thing. <laughs> Not looking to get exploded on. Uh, we'll get the coil gun out, because I think that... Uh, yeah, we got ti Tiger Kung Fu on right now. I was playing around with a little bit of... Uh, of that stuff. Oh, we got a skull kid. Well, maybe our friend can can deal with that for us. Why don't you just? Yeah, I think he's taking extra long to get in and out of the vehicle. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Come over here. I want to get to the lab. 
Where's that boomer? Yeah, get him. Oh, he just boomed on the car. That is a shame. Uh, so if I skin... Got a little bit of raw pelt. Not, not an awful lot, though. I think I got two last time I did that. Um, I was just kind of checking out that food. Are you gonna... Yeah, you're gonna come in that way. He's not closing the doors now. I think that that's because he's prepared for danger. So if I tell you to um, relax, he'll go to sleep, actually. I bet. Because that's what he usually does. Yeah, he's lying down to sleep. So he's trying to go to sleep right now. He's not gonna instantly go to sleep. It takes him a little bit of time, but... Just run that over. Excuse me, Skull Zombie. I'm going to the lab. And we do have our repair nanobots on, so I bet by the time we're actually in the lab um, that we've healed up a good chunk. Oh, also something to note is that when we gave our mutagen to uh, our Ursine mutagen to our friend here, user password unrecognized. An ongoing riot. Okay, so I think that that's below me, right? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, that's below me. Okay, so I I could try and hack my way in here. I think we have an electro hack, but that would spawn a turret, which we... I think we have a control laptop? Yeah, we do have a control laptop. Um, and then an electro hack. You know, some people might think say it's a little bit gamey having these things, but honestly, I don't. These things are machines. If you have someone who can hack, you would, you know? Uh, let's see, can I... That electro hack. Uh, let's reload that. Let's get the high capacity one on it. Um, just because I don't want you getting shot, I'm gonna keep you in the car for now. Honestly, if he did get shot, it probably would not be a big deal. Uh, let's see, if I want to... Oh, did I... I just moved things around. Is that what I just did? Or no? No, I have the control laptop. And... Okay, I'm hearing stuff below me. I thought... I was like, what is that that I just heard? Uh, control laptop? Sure, activate. Oh, there's... I need charges for it. I thought it was, like, powered off, like, UPSs. So, no, it looks like we actually need a battery in it. Okay, well that's gonna weigh me down a little bit. What is... Why am I... Oh, it's the shakes. I got the shakes. That's why my stats are kind of bad right now. My strength is, is pretty low, actually. My dexterity is pretty low as well. I mean, I don't think that's gonna affect our hacking. I mean, kind of would make sense if it did, but... Uh, oh, there's an insane cyborg in here. That's not a broken one. It's an insane one. Oh, the robot refused to acknowledge me as an ally. Oh, so I actually have to hack this thing. Interesting. That's a change. I like that. I've successfully overridden the insane cyborg. Well... That's that's an interesting development. I think we're just going to um, hack until it works. Let's see, do I want to give the control laptop a special button? Sure, let's go with capital... Uh, well, we're going to go with A, and then let's go with C. So it's just like A and C, and then we just do one and one. So A, C... Come on. It doesn't look like the game... Oh! And it turned friendly. Okay, so if I... Um, go to the control laptop. Robotic cop. Uh, that's weird. They must have come up from the downstairs. And then went back downstairs. Uh, so there's no enemy robots in range. So can I then that friendly robots into passive mode? Yes, I can. Okay, so they should be friendly. Use electro hack, yes. Um, 
No alarms were triggered. Well, that's kind of nice. Okay, I actually, I really like the uh, the changes that they've done this. Okay, it caused a short circuit. I bet that's going to cause um, some sort of police bot or something to come over. Because that's usually what it does when you're in cities when that goes off. I'm just going to take a second and look around us. Just to make sure there's no iBots or anything. I don't think there's an iBot. I think it just made a noise. Which is fine because, like, robots um, are around here. Or, um, zombies are around here, then not a big deal. You can also just cave the walls in or even use an explosive to get in here. I have heard that that kind of works. I kind of want to try that, honestly. What explosives do I have? Um, let's see. Sorry. Uh, category explosives. Um, or would it be under weapon? It's under weapon. So we have C4 there. I could try and blow in with C4. I'm kind of interested to see if we can do that. Do we have a radio activation mod? We do not, but we do have a radio right here that we can disassemble. Uh, just... Oh, hold on. Uh, stop disassembly. Yeah, what's, uh, what's going on? Oh, it's, it's just what's going on downstairs. Maybe I shouldn't have stopped that disassembly then. I feel kind of dumb. I, I should have been up here where we could actually see, though. I think our friend... I should be able to tell the cyborg to go uh, open it from the inside for me, you know? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Uh, we need an amplifier circuit. I'm sure we have one of those, right? Or the ability to craft one. I mean, what do you, what do you use the amplifier circuits to build? Like solar panels, cameras, uh, hot plates, tasers, like, yeah, most electrical things, basically. So if I look at the radios, I mean, I think the other radio dropped one, so let's just disassemble another radio, right? Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't look like it actually drops one. Yeah, I don't know. So let's see, I think, let's, let's look at like maybe uh, a camera, no not a camera, I, what was it, a hot plate? I'm not sure, let's see, let's see tools, let's just have a look at what tools we had. I know a UPS would work, but I don't want to break down a UPS, that's just dumb. What about one of these? What do, what do these have in them? If I disassemble that. A processing board. Uh, that's not what we're looking for. No. Come on. Am I gonna seriously not be able to get into this? I think we might have to. Um... I mean, I, I forgot, I think one of these tablets we had, like, taken pictures on or something, but I'm going to break it down, I think. I think that if we do break down some stuff, we can at least build an amplifier circuit, you know? And then we should be able to use that. I, I want to do the explosions. I kind of have my heart set on that. Um, amplifier circuit... A circuit board, electronic scrap. How how do I not have a circuit board or or a scrap? That's like the weirdest thing to me that I don't have those things. This doesn't make sense, you know. Um, these should have uh, some of what I'm looking for, right? Amplifier circuits, yay! 
There we go. I think with just one of those disassembled, then we can make... Uh, oh, we already have the amplifier circuit. What am I doing? The radio activation mod. And I better not have to make a second one of these. <laughs> you know? I actually needed a battery. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we got interrupted by a screech or something? I don't know. That was weird. So do I have the C4? I have the C4. I've got the mod. And I need the RC controller as well. Uh, yes. Now the question is where do I want to blow the hole in? I think. I don't know. Concrete wall. I'm pretty sure the metal door is weaker than... Oh wait, what's this? There's a hole in the ground. Was that there earlier? How did that happen? That's a little bit concerning. Um, we're going to just back up the car and um, go around the corner just because I don't want my car getting messed up by the C4. I think C4 is it doesn't have a big explosion, but I've forgotten how this all works in game. It's been a while since I've played with this. So and because it's been a while since I've played with this. <laughs> Just a little quick save. Um Let's see, so I want that activated No, I can't put on the C4, really? It comes with a small timer. So I can't attach that's dumb. I don't like that at all. Uh, let's go ahead and wield that then. We'll activate it, set timer for... Let's set it for 60. Uh, and I'm going to run... Or we need, we need to drop it first. So there's been two ticks. Let's get out of here. I think from here we would probably be safe. But we're going to just, like, wait a minute once we're, like, over here. I'm just going to wait second by second and see if our character... And we're going to go deaf, actually, if we don't uh, put in our earplugs. Sorry. I'll just do that. And then... There we go. Um, that should have been enough to open it up, and it looks like we did not get hurt. Great. And we're not deaf either. Let's have a look at what we did. Oh, look at that. Opened up. Nice. Okay, so let's have a little peek. Can I see there? Um, what's this? Flat roof dirt. So I can see that there's roof here. Can I walk on that? I can. Okay. Um, it looks like our turret got destroyed by our explosion there. Interesting. Um, I know there's no hostile robots around. Can I peek over here? Yes, I can. I just wasn't sure. Can I peek? I can't peek through there. 400 of those bullets is incredible. Those are incredibly high, uh, high quality. Okay, we got our flashlight on. I'm just going to peek in here. I think that this was where that broken cyborg was. I think the broken cyborg may have just been obliterated, though, by the ex giant explosion. <clears throat> that is also possible. Okay, that C4 really did do a number on, on some stuff. I didn't realize it was going to be quite that bad. Okay, so let's see... What's this? Bleach, and it's actually quite a bit of bleach. Um, That is perfect, because I have been looking for bleach. Like, for real. Our, our character needs more bleach to make more mutagen. We're gonna have to come back for those bullets, man. Like, those, that amount of bullets alone makes it all worth it. It honestly does. Like, spending that C4 to get 400, like, sniper rounds is... Uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy. Um, hold on, I would... I wanted to do up here, I think. 
Definitely gonna keep those things on us. Uh, don't need that. That's our battery. We may need to use the explosions um, in the future. I'm gonna keep the tailoring kit on us because I think we're gonna have to get into some melee fights. And if that is true, then we're gonna want to be able to, you know, do that. Uh, I... I know that Harvey is great at combat and could kill a lot of enemies very easily in here. I am concerned about turrets though, and him just being dumb. You know? So I think we're gonna leave him up here for now. As much as I'm sure he wants to help. I mean, wouldn't you as a former cyborg want to like f help free all these people? I'm dead tired and very hungry though, so maybe I should do the same as what he's doing. Um, nope, that did not work. Uh, what do we have around us otherwise then? That'll work. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let him heal up a little bit. I mean, he's actually pretty pretty good right now. Um, maybe if I find some something for him to kill, I might have him fight it. I don't know. Let's see, do I have cracklings still? I had a absurd amount of cracklings, and I think he ate them all. Yeah, it looks like he ate all of our cracklings. I have been, you know, I would say lazy in our character's diet. And I've been doing like this, just like cooking for an hour, and then just having like a ton of that. Um, okay, we're hearing a lot of stuff going on down below us. Well, hopefully the zombies are killing robots or something for me. That, that would be ideal. I would be very happy with that. Uh, that's uh, we don't really need that on. Get the cracklings eight. I know it's awful for our diet, but we've been low on calories, so I'm honestly just trying to get the calories in. And then, let's see, water. I have this recipe, which I didn't realize. It actually, you can just purify water right here. So I can just, like, purify a good amount of water to drink and then just drink it super easy. I don't have to do the whole thing with the jugs. It was kind of annoying. Uh, let's turn off our flashlight. And I think... Because we are dead tired and it doesn't really matter what time we go into this lab, I think I'm going to go to sleep. And sure, save before going to sleep. Um, oh, we're going to need to do the earplugs. Yep. And I wonder if the screen of the, the security cameras may, would make, I mean, in real life it would make it harder to go to sleep, but I don't think it's modeled in here. I wish, right? Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to repair our riot armor. I think um, I'll show you when we're done sleeping. But I think our riot armor got dented in between episodes. Uh, the reason I was hurt at the beginning of this episode was I went in, in front of our friend um, and just got hit a few times. I think it was... It's either a zombie tank or like one of the other big ones. And uh yeah, I I didn't want to ha have to wait for him to heal up. So I took some hits myself, you know. It's kind of like, well, I've got to repair CBM, which I would love to install on him if I could get him a uh, repair uh CBM. He would be pretty much invincible besides uh by turret I mean, honestly, I think you could unload a full magazine of military rounds on him. Unless you were getting headshots, I don't think it would kill him. Bounce two fungaloids. Fung uh, am I going to wake up in a fungal uh, wonderland? Uh-oh. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, no, we're not waking up in a fungal wonderland. That is good. 
I appreciate that. Um, I am going to eat some crack ones. And we'll take the rest with us. And then um, maybe I'll make some tea. Yeah, let's make some tea and, and put like in a thermos and we'll bring that down with me. Sure, we'll, uh, we'll use our chamomile. Good to stay hydrated, right? As you uh, prepare to get your medical mutagen. Man, I, I really, if I could get medical mutagen, <clears throat> this character, oh man, it's gotta be great. Uh, wait, hold on, where's my tea? I don't want tea leaves. Are you kidding me? I want tea. There we go. Um, nope, that's not it. That's what I wanted. And then we'll we'll just dump the last of the stuff that we got with us that I don't really, 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 really need. Yeah, we don't really need that. Nope. Uh, no. No. And no. I almost forgot, though. There was that soldering iron that I need. Yeah, I think that we have our soldering iron. The one that I intended to leave at base, and then the other one is our car one. I just never really got around to taking care of it properly. Okay. Um. Yeah, just reinforce that, please, and thank you. And we can't reinforce those, which, you know, that would be kind of silly if you did. Nor can I reinforce those. Dad. Okay, Uh, I'm actually just kind of curious about what CBMs I have with me. I would really like to get him, um, like the repair nanobots and radiation scrub scrubber and a power thing. So I might spend some time doing that. Now, here's the issue is um, we're finally at the time of year, finally, where we can um, grow things in the ground. And I have so much awesome content that I, I just like have no interest in doing that. You know, we've got like strange temples and all kinds of other stuff for for days. You know, um, let's go ahead and get our gun out, and I'm actually gonna make sure it's fully loaded, and then we'll put that in there. I'm just going to peek down. Just for a second with the flashlight on. It looks like we're clear if we go down. I'm going to open that up. Okay. It looks like we are in the clear, maybe? Uh, there is a computer there, and that hallway does kind of make me a little bit nervous. Just gonna close that for now. And we'll just kind of peek around the corners here. And I know I, I I could be maybe a little bit more adventurous. I just I'm hearing things attacking other things nearby, and I'm wondering what they are. Okay, zombie chaser, and then oh, that's our friend. So he's just not attacking back. Well, that's kind of sad. Uh, go ahead, friend. You can attack back. I'm just curious as to what how this is gonna end. I'm pretty sure it's gonna end with our friend. Yeah, he's gonna crush the dog. Yep, there we go. Hello, friend. Um, okay, that looks good. Well, actually, now that I know that you are my friend, you could be cannon fodder for me. Like, if I really needed something to jump in front of, uh, bullets. <gasps> Raptor mutagen? Okay, um, that's awesome. We're gonna have to ha have one of those. Maybe that will be one of the uh, the people that we we find inside here, right? 
Exacto knife. Come on, you can't give me a scalpel. We're in a we're in a lab. You can't give me a scalpel. Fine. I'll make do. Uh, what's that? Uh, okay. Spectrophotometer. Uh, yeah, this is the room that sometimes can have turrets. So I've got safe mode on, so it should stop me if there's turrets. Um, that looks clear. Okay. Looks good. Yeah, it's basically, I feel like labs are, if you know how to peek, you shouldn't die, as long as you're being smart. There's something in here, though. Uh, oh, okay, hello. I could, um, shoot you. Yeah, I should probably just shoot you. Hello, are you gonna come back out, or no? I'd like to... Oh, what is... What? Okay, so that's probably an incandescent hulk over there. I need to probably stay away from those doors. Uh, the boomer I would like to not get boomed on, but I may not have a choice. Um... Okay, where are you going? Why are you over there? Is my insane cyborg friend over there? Are you punching my insane cyborg? No. What is going on with your pathing? That was so weird. Like... Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Or not wrong button, I did semi-auto when I meant to do just... Or I did auto when I meant to do semi-auto. Um, that is very concerning to me. We're gonna make note of that. And we're not going to go down quite yet. We want to just clear out this level just a little bit more. And I'm just, yeah, it looks like all of our gear is actually in really good shape. We got full power. You know, we're, we're doing pretty good. Still, that door, or that hallway makes me just freaked out. Just a little, little too much. I just, I don't know. You know, I'm just not familiar with this, uh, is it maybe a CBM? It might be a CBM-like thing. I hear mechanical whirling. Uh, it's advanced mutagen samples. We may have a robot pop down on us if we fail to open that correctly. So you know what we could do is we could just teleport in and teleport out. We could do that. Um, And then that avoids the possible um, death by robot. Uh, I think that we're in the clear. Safe mode, just making sure it's still on. Herrera, what does Herrera have? I don't even know. My mouth hurts. Oh, we're in a cold lab. Oh, so we may need to dress a little bit differently then. Um, because even just right now, our character is very cold. Okay, well, we're gonna need to get some furs or something, or electric suits. I'd probably get an elect like a set of electric underwear or something on. That'd probably cover us. I mean, I think that we're gonna take some minor damage at our current temperatures, and it's gonna be pretty mild. Um, there's a turret there. Now, if I wanted to just like cheese it and get a ton of bullets, um, that is locked. Okay. If I wanted to get like just a ton of bullets, I could just use our control laptop on on that guy right there. Oh, there's wait. Okay, they didn't open the door. They they punched their way through. Hey friend, where'd you go? Yeah, take the dog for me. That dog just ripped my armor. It's annoying. I'm just gonna let you kill it for me, please. Yeah, you should be able to do it, right? There we go. Proud of you. So proud. Um. Let's see. 
I, I am going to repair that gear, but we, I just don't see any items right near us right now that we can do it with. And we have our tailoring kit, so we'll find something. Here we go. There's something. That's perfect. I'll cut that up. And then tailoring kit and repair that right there. Perfect. I think it's our friend that's doing the mechanical whirling. Um, we're actually starting to take uh, damage, it looks like. Uh, a significant amount of damage too. Okay, well I'm actually, I just looked at the time, we're a little bit over half an hour, so I'm gonna end this here. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.